Really what you're looking at here is a worldview conflict where you have one side that, as you've repeatedly stated, and I agree with, is looking at this and saying we need to hold offenders accountable for the choices that they've made, which I'll just pause to say that's the that is the position that respects human dignity on both sides of the transaction, because it obviously respects the human dignity of the victim that we're saying we value your life so much that we're going to hold your assailant accountable to violating its sanctity. So that's one half of the equation. But it's also validating the perpetrator. It's saying you are a moral agent who is empowered with the responsibility and the dignity and the image of God, the responsibility to make good, productive decisions. You failed to do that, and we're going to hold you accountable because you are a free moral agent and because we respect you as a human being. If we To do otherwise is to treat them like animals. Oh, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. Right. Or they couldn't possibly have made a different decision. They're just following their instincts, which is incredibly dehumanizing. And I think actually the the truly discriminatory position.